Hey guys, how's it going? Um, here in Tennessee still, I've had the amazing privilege of musky fishing for the past three days. Um, only had a few hours in the water this morning. I've had some incredible action all week. Um, got one good fish in the boat, lost what would have been my best fish out of this stretch of the river, but that's okay. Um, I thought a lot of people are curious and get excited about musky fishing from the kayak. So I thought I would take just a few quick minutes and try to help you all understand one of the most important things when it comes to musky fishing, the figure eight. Got him, got him. Hang on. It's a little one, but that's okay. Oh boy. Well, first and foremost, Let's talk about some things that are really important prior to musky fishing in the kayak. It is crucial to have a kayak that you can stand in. Nice wide base. Um, obviously, I love my Hobie Pro Angler 14, but first of all, not only is it very difficult to figure eight sitting down, you also, when you're standing, you can see so much. If you've got a deep fish following, you're not gonna see that fish sitting down. Secondly, it is a common misconception that kayak anglers can't use long rods. False. Let me introduce you to my baby. This is my 8.6 Legend Tournament extra heavy, fast, musky rod. Um, the reason I like having a longer rod, first of all, I get more casting distance, and second of all, I can really reach and make those big sweeping figure eights. So having a long rod is just fine. Other thing that's very important, polarized glasses. These are key. Whether it's sunny or not, being able to see into the water, a lot of these fish are gonna be following way under the boat. And if you can't see them, chances are you're probably not gonna figure eight the way that you should. Polarized glasses are huge. So again, I like to keep a fairly wide stance. Um, a lot of times these fish can catch you off guard. So having some stability, slight, you always hear about athletic position in the knees. And very important, every time you figure eight, you want two hands on that rod. All times, two hands. See, I like to make really, really big, wide circles so let's take a little closer look at this and kind of break down what we do when you have a fish coming in at the boat and how to kind of vary your figure eight first and foremost when you're bringing your bait back to the boat you want to make sure you're positioning yourself and your rod to where you can make the most natural presentation that you need to make for instance you don't want to you don't want to bring it here and then try to come back and figure eight here. You want to make sure that you are giving yourself the absolute best presentation, especially when you've got a fish coming in hot. You want to make that look as natural as possible. Second thing, when you're coming in, you want to make sure that you vary a couple different things. You want to vary the depth you want to vary the speed and almost the cadence of the bait. Um, a lot of times I'll pulsate it as I'm working it. Again, those fish will tell you what they want. Sometimes you, you can tell they're, they're coming in hot. When you speed it up, they, they get turned back on and they come back at it. Or when you pop it a few times. But varying that depth, changing your speed, making big wide circles for those big fish to be able to turn, you don't want them to lose the bait, is key. You know, very seldom will you get a fish to bite on just a standard, same depth, same speed, consistent bite. These fish almost always need to be triggered. All right, guys, thank you for watching. <clears throat> I hope you all learned something. Um, like I said, musky fishing, finding the fish is half the battle executing a perfect figure eight only will increase your chances of landing the fish of 
10,000 casts. So now that you've got that in mind, get out there and see what you all can do. Best of luck in tight lines.